Okay, good morning and welcome to Just Dafit. Dafiomi share. We are learning Meseches Yevamos. Daf Kuf Yud Gimel 113. We have a great share for you today. We will be discussing, uh, at least continuing to this new parak, um, precisely the marriage of a Cheresh and a Chareshes, a deaf mute and a deaf man, a deaf mute man, a deaf mute woman. Uh, what's the status of their marriage? I have a huge Kiddush today in Eno the and you're going to love it. Uh, we talk about, I've divided marriage into two parts, uh, the Bia and the Bi'ila. Now I'm actually going to tell you maybe there's two parts to the Bi'ila, to the marriage. There's Nisuin and then there's the Bi'ila, which correspond to two words in the Torah of Alakha, which is Nisuin, to pick someone up, Nisuin. Pick a woman up and cross her, bring her into your room, cross the threshold. Uh, you pick her, you, you pick her up, and you bring her into your room. It's nisu, and you pick her up. And then there's the beila, which is the, the havaya, which is a marriage that can be maintained. We'll get into that in Yom Tzion, uh, and we'll see how it's relevant to the marriage of a cherish and a cheresh versus the marriage of a katan and a tano. Let's get started. Kufiyud <coughs> bees, um, kufiyud gimel, amin aleph on the top. So the Gemara says, "Maishna Ktana the Achla Betruma, Maishna Chareshes the Lo Achla Betruma." We're going to see there's a difference in the marriage between a, a Ktana and a Chareshes. The Ktana gets to eat Truma, not the Raisa. The Rabbanon, her marriage is only Rabbanon. It's only Truma with the Rabbanon. Truma with the Rabbanon is Truma b'zman and Zez. Considered even Eretz Yisrael is considered the Rabbanon. Um, it's considered to be even in the time of the Beis Hamikdash, it was Truma del Raisa. Uh, according to most opinions, is only Dagon Tirosh Yitzar from the wheat, uh, from the grapes, and from olives. That's the rice, everything else, apples, the Rabbanon. So, a lot of the trumas, right? Think of trumas, the Rabbanon, even from fruits and vegetables. So, those things they can eat. Katana, but a so we're going to see it's clear from a price that you can't eat that. This not, how do we know this? He had testimony on Choreshes that her father married off as a Katana. She goes out with a get. <coughs> the daughter of Israel, she's married to a Kohen. Again, her marriage is only Rabbanon. Um, she eats Truma. Truma the Rabbanon. It only specifies the Ketana. We're talking about the Kareshes and the Ketana. We said only the Ketana gets to eat Truma with Rabbanon. So the Gemara says, A Yachal Kheresh Becharashas. We're concerned. That a cheresh marrying a chareshes, right? And the kohen is a cheresh. She marries a chareshes. She's going to feed her truma also. Technically, this shouldn't be a problem. By truma, they're abundant. We're going to see really what the gemara meant in a second. Malekol katan, okol nevelasu. So even a chareshes chareshes, let them meet, right? A cheresh and a katan are now mitzvah and mitzvahs, right? Cheresh out of katan are patur and are mitzvahs. So let them meet, right? Basically, doesn't stop. A katan eats nevelas. He eats nevela, which is also to eat in the raisa. He eats that. Basin is not Matsuba la Hafrisha. We're going to get into that tomorrow's daf. You can't feed it to the Katan, but if he wants to do it himself, Basin doesn't intervene. So <clears throat> let them get married and they'll eat it. They're not Matsuba and Mitzvos. So where it says, Xerish and Yaka Kherish be Bikachas. Because we're worried that a Kherish Kohen gets married to a Bikachas Israel, a fully mentally competent woman. A Kherish be Bikachas, Nami Lechol, but Shumad Rabbana. At least let her feed it. The Gakas, they're married with the Rabbanan, so let him feed the Kohen Cheresh, feed his wife, Shumid Rabbanan. So the Mara says, Zira, Dimala Asi La Ochla, but Shumid Rabbanan. Because we're concerned, maybe he's going to feed her Shumid Rabbanan, and their marriage is only the Rabbanan, so therefore she only has the permissibility to eat Shumid Rabbanan. But my Shtak Tana, the Ishtak Supa. Now the Gemara is going another difference between Tana and Acharashas, even though they both have rabbinically recognized marriages. She gets a Ksuva, right? When her marriage is over, she gets to collect a Ksuva. Uh, which at least is a man or masayim. We have to be more concerned because of chareshes. If we make the man give her a ksuba, promise her a ksuba, he's not going to get married to her. Ktana shall grow up. She'll be a girl, like I said before. So there's more reason a man would want to marry her. You know, she get a ksuba. But time we know this How do we know? We just said a fact that Ktana gets a ksuba. How do we know that? It's not a man as vashnia. This is a mission I believe that end up ksubos. A man is Vashni of Island is Elohen Ksuba. A woman, Akhtana, getting married by mother or brother, and she refuses the marriage before she gives him to Gdola or Shniya, 
who married a woman who's an ever there upon him, an islandess who married a woman who's incapable of bearing children. They don't get a ksuva when they leave the marriage. Al Yotsi beget, Viktani ish la ksuva. But if she, it's been my end, it's only if she refuses, but if she's a ktana and the guy decides to divorce her, right, the man decides, it's not me, and he decides to get rid of the marriage. She would get a ksuva. Haresh is a minal delis la ksuva. Hene Haresh doesn't get a ksuva. The sign of Haresh is showed she not so big close. The bride says, Haresh and showed the married. Fully mentally competent women. Even in the middle of the marriage, the Cherish somehow got healed, and the Shota also, he was healed of his psychiatric problems. The woman, even though these fully mentally competent women are married to fully mentally competent men now, because when they originally married them, they weren't mentally competent, so therefore they don't have the, they're not entitled to a Ksuo. Rats the Kaimon, but if when they became better, they decided, okay, we're going to continue the marriage. Yes, time ksuba. Then the ksuba kicks in. Let's say the opposite. A mentally competent man marries a charesh or a shota. Even if he gives her a hundred mana, which is a ton of money, ksuba sakayemes. It's his, it's his discretion. He wanted to get rid of his money. He wants to throw out his money. So time with the ratza. It's only the reason because he wrote a ksuba and he decided he wants to get rid of his money. Hello, ratza. If you don't want to give her a ksuva, ain't law, right? Normally, ksuva, even if the guy doesn't want to give it, it's not ksuva. Based on it forces you to give the ksuva to a woman. So, <clears throat> so where it says, the MK, Mimni Vlan Aspila, Cheresha's. Again, there's, right, there's much less reason a man would want to marry a Cheresha. So, therefore, if she got a ksuva, a man wouldn't want to marry her. MK, Haki, Bikachas, a Cheresha, at least can lock ksuva. So, in the opposite case, right, where a Cheresha is marrying a Bikachas, he wants to get married. The Cheresha, it's hard for a Cheresha to get married. He's deaf mute. No one's going to marry a guy that can't speak and can't hear. So, in order to allow him to marry a pikacha, let, let us promise that the shikha seksuva, so she'll want to marry him. Im came, mimdi, uh, im came, mimdi, mimdi, she won't get married unless she gets the ksuva. The words of the ocean, Rish Rotel, Lisa, Isha Rotel, Inase, a big claw like Gemara says that uh, more than a man wants to get married, a woman wants to get married. If you didn't know this, then you're not privy to having a relationship with women. women want to be married more than men. Men can do without being married. Um, women want to have children more than men. Men can do without children. <laughs> um, this is the truth in the world, so therefore we don't have to back it up and give her a ksuba. She'll want to get married anyway. Even the guy's a cherish. How cherish? There was an incident of cherish. The Havah B'Shuusi the Ramalkio. He was in the neighbor of Ramalkio. Ansebe Issa, he arranged a marriage for him. Because of La'ara Me'a Zuzi Minichse. He wrote a ksuba that he owes her 400, 400 zuzim, which is double a, a ksuba, a psula, from his, from his, from his property. I'm a rabba, man chachem ke rabba malki, a rabba commented, rabba malki is a smart guy. The guy of a rabba who, he's a great man. If he wanted a maid servant, he wanted a maid to his house to do cleaning work, we, we, we would take money, right? This guy's a cherish, so he doesn't have responsibility a lot of times over his money, right? Normally, maybe a, ga- a trustee of the based in, a trustee of the community is in charge of his nechassim. He's an adult man. So if he wants someone to help him in the housework, we would buy him someone. Closer again, haka the ikatar. Here, you're marrying him someone off. He gets a wife, and he gets a, sh- a shifcha. It tells you a wife, half wife, half shifcha. She's supposed to do the work in the house. Supposed to take care of the house. Amar of Chiyavarashi, so even though the says, even though technically she doesn't have a right to a ksuba, she wanted to get married, but if the guy is an ineligible bachelor, he's not, no one wants to marry him, it's a good idea, it's a good etza to guarantee the woman some money. Amar of Chiyavarashi, Amar of Shmuel, Eishas Cherish, and Chayavin Alashon Tolar. This is an interesting statement. The wife of a Cherish, right, if she commits adultery, right? Come here for a second. Just come here. Here is. My friend Yaakov, Yaakov man. Hello, hello. How's it going? Yaakov is going to appear as very so soon. Far? It's going well. How are you? Good, Rosh Hashem. Yeah. Looking uh, yeah. very uh, good. Thanks. Listen, Yaakov. Yeah. I, um, Yaakov has a busy schedule. He's in Shana Rishona, right? It's your first year of marriage. It's going well. He's spending the money like you should. He went to the wall of Astoria for Shabbos. It's pretty good. Secret. He no. went to a con. No, no, no. I want to introduce you because you're going to be coming on, right? Hopefully Wednesday night. No, we arrange. I just, it's like a primer, you know, just like get people ready. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So we're going to see more of Yaakov, man. If you like what you heard so far, you're going to hear some more. Yaakov, man, hopefully we're joining me on Jewish Money Wednesday night. We'll be filming it. 
and it'll be a great episode. What to do with your money during Shana Rishon? How to spend? Because you got to spend money during Shana Rishon, right? And Shana Rishon, you're supposed to make your wife happy, right? Mm -hmm. So, but how much money do you spend? You know, that's why you have only one Shana Rishon. Right, but I'm saying, you know, it's like one person getting married, you know. How much money to spend on a marriage for your daughter, you know? She only gets married once, hopefully, but, you know, I mean, you want to put yourself in debt, you know. How do you manage your finances as a Shana Rishona guy in Israel? That's where we're going to talk more with yeah, Yaakov, man, I bet. Not Yaakov is a real man, right? He's a man. <laughs> He's the man. All right. M-A-N-N, -N, right? Not M-A-N, right? M-A-N-N. -N. And uh, yeah. in Hebrew, how do you spell it? You spell Ish man. or Man? man. Oh, man not, not Ish. All right. Because Man is Ish in Hebrew. Got it? Right. All right. We're going to discuss that and other things. That was a great yeah, guy. Same. He's a fun guy to talk to. That's the same. All right. We'll see you, we'll see you Wednesday, Yako. Looking same. forward. All right. Have same. a good day. Have you too. Stop the right. rabble uh, learning. Amen. Amen. Thanks. All right. So, so the Gemara says, uh, an interesting halacha. Eishas cheresh ain't chayva na Hashem taloi. Eishas cheresh, which is a woman uh, married to a cheresh, right? She's a fully capable, mentally competent woman. She's married to a cheresh. Her marriage only to Rabbanon, <coughs> seemingly only to Rabbanon. Shmuel says if she would commit adultery, she's not chayva na Hashem taloi. Na Hashem taloi is a suffix, you bring on a suffix whether you're violating a shakata. Now, those who were talking about the Rabbana over here, she did a Peshogi. She wasn't, she didn't know that it wasn't the right guy, it wasn't her husband, it was some other man. She was a Peshogi, she was under the influence, I don't know, drugs or alcohol, I don't know, maybe, I don't know exactly. It was Shogi, she wouldn't do it on purpose. So, she's Shogi, so normally on a Shogi, you have to bring a Herman Chatas if it's a, if it's a violation, if it would be Chayef Karaz Bemezid. So, <coughs> so, if you're not sure, if you did an Isser, like you're not sure you're not on Shabbos, suffix, so you bring a Hashem Toloi. It's a suffix, Chatas. He says, for some reason, you're not Chayim Hashem Toloi. So the Gemara says, we're trying to figure out why Shmuel is there. Lema, I'm a Sayyidah. Say, this following Mishnah is a proof to Shmuel. Chamisha lo Yishramu. Ah, back to Mishnah Shrumos. If you don't know, I give a share of Mishnah Yomi. We are learning Mishnah Shrumos. This is the first Mishnah in Mishnah Shrumos. So you can hit the rewind button, go back a couple weeks, you'll hear the share if you want. Five people, not only Lakhila, they shouldn't take off Shuma, their Shuma is invalid. They can't not only can't they do a mitzvah, they also can't make a Shuma. Again, if you try to take off Shuma from someone else's produce, it's stealing, you can't do it. Again, if you try to take off Shuma from someone else's produce, it's stealing, you can't do it. We learned, not about yesterday actually, the Shlichas of Agoy. Uh, <clears throat> by when it comes to uh, when it comes to truma, it's invalid. You can't even be a shliach if we try to take off truma. A filu brashus Yisrael and truma to truma. Even if he gave him permission, he made him a shliach. It wouldn't be invalid. So you see, a cherish can't make a chalos anything. So he, not only can he do mitzvos, also he can't make a chalos. Therefore, his marriage is invalid on a doraisa level. So of course. There's no the Ashim Toloi. There's no suffix Doraisa. They should bring up only a Doraisa of a Doraisa you bring a carbon Ashim Toloi. The Gemara says no, it's still possible Shmuel is staying a Khidish. Who's Amak Krabalazar? The San Yurisa Khum Mishum Lazar, Truma's Khirish will take the Khul and make sure the He argues on this mission. He says if a car you took off Truma, you can't it's a suffix whether it's actually considered to be Truma or Khulin. So so it's a suffix according to Reb Yitzchak. And then we're lazar. Even severe like we're lazar. He calls her lazar. Hashem tali nami the chayev. So why is mei chayev Hashem tali in this case? A chayrish uh, is considered maybe a suffix, a suffix uh, bar das, suffix someone less das according to lazar. So the Gemara says, "Ba'ina chadicha mishdei chadichos." You need to have in order to chayev Hashem tali. You need to have right. It's talking about your suffix whether you ate chaylev or not, or you ate, ate something which is really bad, forbidden fats of an animal. So one piece you know is Vade Khelev, and the other piece you know is Vade not Khelev. So there it's called Ischazik Isura. This is important when it comes to Hilkos Safik the Raisa Lukhumar. We only go to the Raisa Lukhumar in order to bring Ashim Tole when it's Ischazik Isura. I'm going to explain this very well in Eno Ben Sion, relying on the common uh, phrase, uh, Murphy's Law, dictum. I don't know how you would say it. Uh, Murphy's Law, if you heard of Murphy's Law, is it applying Judaism? Yes! Right here in the Gemara, Schazik Isura explaining this. We're going to have to use Murphy's Law. 
So the word says, "Ba'inah shtei chadicha l'mid." By Rabbi Lazar, chadicha min shtei chadicha. Rabbi Lazar himself, who was claiming that Shmuel holds like he himself hold something that writes the Chumra only with with the Ischazik Yisura. Rabbi Tanya Rabbi Lazar Omer Kol Kvi Chayavin Ola Chel Ba'asham Tov. The Kvi is a Safik Behemo Safik Chayim. It's like a buffalo. Let's say we're not sure if it's a it's an animal or it's a wild animal, domestic animal or wild animal. So. A wild animal, a chaya, you're allowed to eat the chaylev. The animal, behemoth, it's it's aser midaraisa, it's it's curry to eat that. Uh, so we're not sure. So if you eat the the chaylev, your chaya, according to Lazar, asham tolo, even though it's only one chaticha, so we're not it's not his chazik yisur. We're not sure whether the kvi is behemoth or chaya. Shmuel sevak lezer v'chada v'poli lezer Shmuel holds maybe he holds like a like one, right? <clears throat> then in terms of a chayre, she's a safek daraisa, whether he's considered a bardas or not. V'poli lezer he holds maybe even. Uh, he holds that you need you need ischazi yisura, and Rabbi Lazar holds you don't need ischazi yisura. Ika the Amri, a different way of saying Shmuel. Amar of Chia Barashim or Shmuel. Ishas Kerish Chayav on Hashem Tal. Your Chayav Hashem Tal. The Mezi Veicham Mishal Yisshu Shmuel. Sarva the Brais. The Brais. The Mishnah says first Mishnah Shmuel says that he's not a Barda. Sarva like Rabbi Lazar, he holds like Rabbi Lazar, and even according to this street, they all like Rabbi Lazar. Even um, we don't need ischazi yisura. By Rabbi Ashi, my time with Rabbi Lazar. What's the reason, Rabbi Lazar, that a cherish is considered to be a Suffolk bardat? Mivshab Shitale, the cherish died to Klishto. It's obvious that he has a weakened form of das, right? He, he doesn't. Uh, we explained once that a cherish, he had, may have a. He's deaf mute. You can be like Helen Keller, okay, blind and deaf. I don't know, Helen Keller could speak apparently. Um, you could be. You can have academic intelligence, social intelligence you're lacking. So. That social intelligence, daita klishta, that's a weak social intelligence, weak social cues, not able to pick up on social cues. Umi masafla, daita silusa, e, top of kosher gilam beis, ilav daita silusa. But that weak das, is it a clear das? Right? It's weak, but it's clear, meaning he's not able to pick up all the social cues, but when he's able to pick up social cues, he's got it clear. Or even when he failed to pick up social cues, he only has it fuzzy. Lolam chada daitu. Really, like we said, he has one das. He has academic intelligence, um, and we're specific about the social intelligence, whether it's partially there or not. He has weak social intelligence. It's never clear. What's the reason that maybe a cherish mido rais that can be considered a marriage to a woman came into isim chalim itim shota? A cherish deaf mute. Sometimes he actually heals. He's not. He's not always a deaf mute. Um, sometimes, even though he doesn't pick up on social cues, sometimes he's actually very smart, intelligent. You know, people go through life; it's very obvious to certain people. Um, a lot of people, we don't, we're not always in control of our not only our emotions, we're in control of our mental capacity. Sometimes we're able to understand things very easily, and sometimes things are very hard. I know I go through this also. Itim chalim, itim shoda. Sometimes he's, he's mentally competent, sometimes he's not. We might have to mean him. What's the difference in two ways of saying coin to Belazar? Lahosi ishto beget. In order to Megarish his wife, the first way we said he has one das. It's just Mesufik why that's clear. Kedushin Kakirishin, just like he always maintains the same amount of, of intelligence. So if he can do Kedushin, he can do Gerishin. Masakin Kedushin, Masakin Gerishin, we're also. Yeah, I'm going to eat him, call him, eat him, show him. Kedushin Matamikadish, Kedushin Matamikadish. He can't be able to Gerishin because in the Suffolk del Raisa, whether he can do a Kedushin, whether he at that point with the Kedushin had das or he's a Shota. So therefore, Suffolk Kedushin, Chumro, or Machmir, we say he's Mekudashis to the woman. But the Gerishin, Suffolk Darash to the Chumro, we say the Cheskas, they were married, you can't emote you from that Chazaka, because maybe he was a Shota when he gave the Gerishin, a Shota can't give a Gerishin. My Tegu, we're not sure. This whole Gemara is very perplexing, and Shmuel really holds the, the Gemara to the Pasuk, like Rabbi Lazar, at least even according to the first way, Cherish, you're not chay of Hashem Tali because it's not Yitzchaz HaYisura, but really it's Tzavik Darayis HaLechumra, it's not Yitzchaz HaYisura. How is it Tzavik Darayis HaLechumra? We said a couple of days ago that the das of a cherish is Knuya Mishuyeris. So that's what the Gemara said it very clearly. That he's, he's married to Amid Rabbana, but he's lacking partial Kenyan. So it's only the Rabbana over there. How does the Gemara have a Tzavik Darayis over here? We're going to have to explain to reconcile these two Gemaras. Nishtatis. Now back to our Mishnah. The woman becomes a Shota. Amar of Yitzchak's bar Torah Shota Miskareshes. The Mishnah says if she's looking at Shota, you can't divorce her. So Rabbi Yitzchak says no. Mina Torah Shota Miskareshes. Midi the have bikachas bal korcha. Just like a mentally competent woman, if the man forcibly wants to give her a get against her will, he can do that. So Shota, she has no das. So he's like giving it against her will. Matam Amru inam Gareshes. What's the reason he says she can't be Gareshes? Shalom Yitzchak, I'm going to have her to takana derabbanan that people shouldn't 
she's not able to prevent herself, to be shomer herself, to watch over herself. People will take advantage of her and be bold or, and just rape her. So therefore we keep him with the man so that people, he should protect her from the other people. Once again, she knows how to hold on, not lose things, right? And she's able to uh, protect herself. Meaning, he can buy a minute half care. She protect herself. She knows enough to protect herself. There's no concern of half care. She doesn't know uh, how to watch her get. She can't watch things. She'll lose things. And she can't watch herself. So. Minat Torah, she's misgareshes. Uh, sorry, if if she doesn't know how to be shomer her guest, she can't watch it and she can't watch herself. Our Torah show, show the misgareshes. Is it possible? Minat Torah, she could be misgareshes. I'm a debate Rabbi Yana, but not some biyado. One of the technicalities of giving a get, you have to put it in her hand. Misha Yishla Yad, she has to have a hand. I mean, she has a physical hand, but she has to. A Yad is more than just. Accepting the get, you have to be able to be shomer to watch the get, like Irish Atzma. You have to do the shayin yigad, like Irish Atzma. She can't watch it. But time very small, but she'll be based on additional concern. You have to send her away from your house. Misha should be shalcha in a chozeris. You have to send her away and she doesn't come back. You have to do the shalcha in a chozeris. Shota, a psychiatric woman, she's, she's a run out. The guy divorces her, he pushes her away. She comes right back. She doesn't know what's going on. So, how could you, if she doesn't know, how to watch herself, she's obviously on the level where she's incapacitated and mentally, which is going to run back to the guy. So you can't have a garrison. She could watch her get, she could hold on to it. She has the mental capacity to know to hold on to it, not to lose it, not throw it in the garbage. She doesn't know how to watch herself. She has a yat to make a couple of he shouldn't be there one. He shouldn't be magarish. She only about minug hefker. She doesn't know how to watch herself from other men. She'll take advantage of her. Amar Abaye, Daikanami, the Kasani Gabi Dido, and Shtat is Liyotzi Liyotzi. It says when it comes, she's a shota. It says he shouldn't be motzi here. Gabi Dide Liyotzi Olamis. When the man's a shota, it says he can't do it forever. What's the extra word? Maishna Hacha the Tani Olamis. Maishna Hasan the Lokasani Olamis. Why the extra word Olamis? Elish Mamina the rice of the Rabban and Allah is to tell you that there's no way for a man who's a shot in Magarish, he's not mentally competent. The man has to have das when he gives the garish and the woman doesn't have das, so he should either go bal korcha. So when the woman is a shota, she's Magaresha, that's only the Rabbana and she can't Magaresha because we we don't want her to stay in the marriage, so people shouldn't take advantage of her. Uh, when it comes to a man to show that doesn't work on a Daraisa level, it can't be Magarish at all, he doesn't have das. I'm Rabbi Yochan Minuri. Yochan Minuri was trying to figure out this difference between uh, a cheresh and a chareshes, and why a shota, why a chareshes could be migureshes even by korfas. The says, he by the Riyachman Nuri ish pshitole. Really, he held it was obvious that a man was a cheresh, right? Um, he could he could give a get. Isha kami boyle, and by a woman he had a suffix. Don't make isha pshitole ish kami boyle. Maybe the suffix is about a woman. Tasha the gamul the eno domi ish migureshes the isha misgareshes. Shaisha, I'm sorry, the opposite. The, the mission says that a chareshes, she could be, uh, you can give a get to a chareshes, but a cheresh can't give a get. A cheresh is not mentally competent. You have to have mental competence to give a get. So that's what the Rabbonin said. So Rabbi Yochan was inquiring about that. The Tashma, the Gamrule, in Adomi, Yish Megaris, Yisha Mizgaresh, Shaisha, Yishi Yotza, the Ratona, Shalo, the Ratona. A woman could be divorced even against her will, but Yisha Mosi, El Ratona. He has to have Raton. He has to have Das. Shnamina Ish Kami Bayale, from the fact that the Rabbanon retorted, responded to Yochum Anur. Yochum Anur had an inquiry. He wanted to know what's the difference. And they said, where, what do they focus on? The Ish. The first thing they mentioned the Ish. So that was where Rabbi Yochum Anur had a suffix. So the Gemara retorts, no, Adarav, Mikamar le Avzu Chayotzeba. And then the, the, the Gemara had a later case, two lines later in the Mishnah. And then they said to Yochum Anur, this one also. And that was going on the woman. Shrana Ishak Nibayal. You see that he was asking about the woman. Ella Rabbi Yochum Anur, the Ram Kaamar Lehu. Rabbi Yochum Anur was speaking to Rabbanon. Let's follow. Did the Kiheki the Ishlam Hatz Megar Shinami the Megarja? Right. Really, it wasn't that Asafi. He says, he says he knew, according to his Svara, just like an Ish can't be Megarish, a Cherish can't be Megarish. The Isha was a Cherish can't be Megarish. Ella the Diyutchu. Then you make a difference between the Maishna Ish and Maishna Ish. What's the difference? I'm Rule. You know, don't make Ish Megarish, Ish Megarish. No, the difference is obvious because. A man who's a cherish can't be a megarish, doesn't have das. At least with a that you can megarish someone by a korcha against their will. So therefore, a cherish could she could be misgarishes, 
That will be the conclusion of today's show. I hope you enjoyed. See you in Inovencion coming up next.